Hi, it's Pavel with the C++ exercise. This is uh, very quick. <laughs> it says write a program that uses a loop to display patterns below. So in other words, we will display this triangle and then we will display this triangle. So clearly we'll be using some uh, nested for loops. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so uh, Let's do our. Mm, let's do the first first one, first triangle, and um, I will simply do a four uh, integer. Uh, uh, well, let's the row. So R for row uh, equals uh, zero to r is less than uh, 10 that's the number of uh, stars over here it could be 15 you know, uh, you know we could go higher with that but let's start with 10 we can change that later if you want to and uh, r plus plus and within that loop we'll get a, we'll do another for loop in other words a nested loop for the columns uh, so integer c equals zero, and uh, our c. Remember, we start the, the first triangle. We start with one, then with two, three, four, and so forth. So uh, our c will actually equal. Uh, I mean, not equal, but be less than uh, the r. The reason for that is, uh, like I said, if you look at it. We do the row, the first row, our r equals 0, so we come over here, c equals 0, r equals 0, so we'll only loop it one, we'll make one star. Then it comes over here, to, to the next row, r will now equal 1, so c equals 0, r equals 1, so we'll loop it twice, and I'll put two stars, alright? So uh, we'll simply output c, c out. And we are outputting, uh, what is it they want us? Plus. So we will output plus. Now, this is this is a loop for each row, but after each row, we need to move to the next one. So we need an empty line uh, and line to do that. So let's test that. We should get the first triangle. And lo and behold, here it is. So now let's do the, uh, so we got this one, now let's do this one, which is uh, the opposite, we start with 10 stars and go down to 1. So uh, our second triangle, so for our second triangle, second triangle, again we start from the highest number go backwards to the lowest. So when we started with zero here and loop 10 times, we will start with 10 all the way to, and we loop 10 times, but we will decrease the number until it equals uh, zero. So uh, our second is another for loop, and it's gonna be another integer r equals zero, r, is less than, uh, I'm sorry, this is, <laughs> I just said, our r equals 10, because we start with 10 stars, or 10 uh, pluses, our r is, and we loop until r is greater uh, than zero, and we will be decreasing r with each iteration. So now let's do the columns for that, uh, in other words, in, other, in uh, inner loop, so uh, integer c equals uh, 0, c is less than r, and c plus plus. So this is our row, I mean this is for a loop for each row, after each row, before I forget, we need to go to a new line. So. And over here, we'll simply output a 
again our plus sign to make the triangle. So we start with 10 of them. So we'll output the 10 of them here. Then we go to 9 because we decrease it, R minus minus. So now we'll loop 9 times here, then 8 times, 7 and so forth. Uh, so let's see how that works. And we get the triangle. Uh, there's no space in, in between them, uh, so I can, after I do the first one, I can do another C out and line just to make an empty line. And now it froze on me, so I will be right back. Okay, so now I can run it again. Sorry about it, it froze before. Uh, so let's build it, run it. And here are our triangles. Now, like I said, uh, this is arbitrary. Let's make it, uh, I don't know, 20. Let's make those triangles really big. And this one may be 15, so a little smaller. Let's build. And, uh, oops. You can see we got the triangles displayed correctly. All right, so. Uh, there you have it. Uh, you know what? Let me cheat. let me make a smaller number so I can count it easier, just to make sure that it actually makes correct number of iterations. Just a little quick. Uh, so one, two, three, four. See this one actually. A good thing I did that because it's only four. It should be five. This one's five. This one's correct. So the bottom one is correct. Uh, this one is not. I believe this one should be C is less or equal to R. Yep, that, that did it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So now we have a working uh, program that works exactly as intended. I hope it helped you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.